Firstly, I'm with the American Marketing Association. We're right here in the booth uh, with the Mexican food. So actually, we're just promoting Mexican food right this one. We have mole, uh, we have enchiladas, we have arroz, and the people's favorite that they don't even know, capirotada. And actually, just a quick update, um, mole actually was created by the nuns back in time. They're actually the ones that created it to feed each other. So, yeah. This happens once a year around this day. So yes, I do encourage people to come, but I, um, I rather encourage them to actually join an organization and participate because you learn a lot. Uh, I'm helping out my organization, the French Club. Um, this is my first semester in it, but I'm really enjoying it. The menu du jour, c'est the tapenade spread, which is basically olives and garlic, and you spread it over a little thin bread, and then um, the dessert is mousse au chocolat, which it's basically whipped cream with chocolate, melted chocolate in it, and then you put whipped cream and raspberries on top, and also Montello, uh, which is mint tea, so just water and mint. Um, I think it shows that you're a well-cultured person. It gives you a, an advantage, an advantage, and your employers look at you like you know you're be, you're able to work in a team. You dedicate your time and you, you you set time aside to go do these extra activities with your organization, and it shows that you're proud of what you do. And I really am proud of UTEP, and I'm proud of my organization, Look Up Homesick. Uh, our organization name is Chinese Students and the Scholar Association. So we are, right now we are taking the annual food fair at UTEP. Since all of this, all of these things is traditional Chinese food, we really wanted to to give your guys some real Chinese food, you know. Maybe sometimes if you wanted to get some Chinese food at the a restaurant in the US, but I'm not sure it's very native, it's very real. Yes, we're with the Environmental Advocates. We're an RSO here at UTEP that's dedicated to, I guess, advocating for environment, environmental issues in UTEP and throughout the El Paso community. And we're selling vegan uh, food, and we're trying to raise awareness about going vegan at least one time a week, um, and then how that impacts like the environment. Thank you. I think El Paso in general is very, um, not pessimistic, but they, they aren't aware about environmental issues. So I think it's very important, at least in the college level, for students to know uh, what's going on and so other people can spread the word as well. Yeah, we're with ARISE, which stands for Academic Revival of Indigenous Studies and Education. Uh, we want to help Native American students find scholarships, but we also want to educate the larger UTEP campus about Native American culture, diversity, history, current events. Well, we're serving Navajo, well, Navajo tacos. It's a fusion of Hispanic cooking and Navajo um, fry breads. It's just a fry bread with a bunch of meat, beans, vegetables on it. And we're serve, serving a lamb stew with green chili, hominy, another kind of fusion of the cultures. So one campus UTEP is the campus chapter of the national organization. So what we do is that we get college students more, um, more aware of how developing countries actually function. And so we educate and we advocate and we also provide fun activities, social things like that for students to just jump in and see what they can do in order to change, change the world one step at a time. So we chose sweet potatoes because they provide a lot of nutrients and they're really inexpensive. So it's a very good crop for the, the countries in Africa and the Sub-Saharan region. Um, so what we're serving today is sweet potato fries, um, sweet potato cookies, and then we also have a hibiscus African tea. Um, and what's great about it is it has this like great marshmallow sauce that comes with it. <laughs> so it's like a good sweet addition to an already sweet, very low cost, nutritious type of vegetable. So it's um, being in an organization like this gets you more active on campus. So I would say it got me more politically aware as well. I wasn't into researching things. I didn't do anything before. So after joining this, um, I became an advocate. I was on campus everywhere. And I knew more about what was happening in the world. So I'm not turning a blind eye to what's going on. I'm actually taking action and doing things in order to see my world shaped how I feel it deserves to be.